I'm so sorry, Mr. Shedden. I know how badly you really want this position. But it is filled for now. There are other positions you might find really exciting at the moment. No, no. thank you. Thank you. I will keep, I'll coming, keep back. coming back. I can get this particular one. You won't kill yourself, guy. Mm -hmm. It's perfectly fine. It's yours. Thank you. Mm. <sighs> this tastes really good. I know, right? So what are we drinking to? You got the job? No. I was told the position was still not vacant. What is this your obsession with the position of the general manager? Is there something else to it? I already told you. Yes, I know. So you could be close to the chairman. What else? What is wrong with you, Shedden? You've been applying for the same position in the same company for five years. Five years since we finished youth service. You've refused to stay committed in any meaningful relationship, nor apply for any other job or any position. See, sometimes one needs to do something different. Something different for a real change. So why don't you apply for the role of a supervisor? Maybe by now you would have been able to walk your way to becoming the general manager. Maybe not. Maybe I would have resigned. Maybe I would have been sacked that more. This is what I want to do. And I will get it. I don't care how long it takes. <laughs> Whatever is behind this, your motivation is strong. Maybe even stronger than I thought. But I really don't know how you're going to go about this. Except you want to kill the general manager. <laughs> 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 I want you to do something for me, Dapo. Sure. Anything for your brother. Meanwhile, expect my call. You are need your chair. Reason if they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing. Take me for granted, and you know I'm leaving. I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believing. Got a taste for blood, and my tongue keeps bleeding from the words I spit. So sharp, so freezing, so cold. Behold, frostbite, they feeling. I could tear you apart, or I could go heal them. Don't believe in. They don't believe in ceilings, I just need a taste and my mind starts feeling I don't pace myself, I grind on kneeling, got lust for change, I just love Shegun. the feeling no. Shegun, get up! Mm. It's 8 a.m. on a Monday morning and you're still in bed. What are you doing here this time of the day? I came to see my boyfriend, check on him and remind him of his interview by 10 a.m. Thank you. I'm not going for any interview. Why? Because I'm not going. I'm not speaking French. Shegu, you've been without a job for three years. Three good years. 
You just sit indoor like some online fraudsters. Press computers from morning till night. Update the Wikipedia account of a company you are obsessed with. <laughs> and you sit here waiting to get a general manager's position. At least I'm waiting for something. What about you? What about me? I have been waiting all my life for you to propose. I have been waiting to get married to you and have a good life. <laughs> but here you are. With absolutely no plans for yourself, for your future, <laughs> let alone for me. I've told you a million times, and I repeat myself. If I don't get the job, I'm never getting married. <laughs> hmm? The dream is to be general manager of this company. You are mad, Shegun. Something is definitely wrong with you. You are crazy. What are you, a superman? <laughs> you don't even have a day experience. And you're here talking about getting a general manager's position in a top company like Zeus Technology. Keep dreaming. Impossible is nothing. No. Impossible is you. You know what? I am done with this bullshit of a relationship. I was beginning to think it's taking too much time already. Have a fuck life. And you too, darling. Yo, I got a lot of shit to say, so I'ma do this every day. I'll be writing things until I'm fucking buried in my grave. Six feet deep, wonder, but my body won't decay. Cause my messages are timeless, so they'll put them on display. Oh yeah, I rap with a certainty. I have a sense of urgency. A message for eternity for everyone internally. I had some people hurting me, but now they fucking hurt I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. The traffic was different. It's okay. So same on my way. Um, what would you like to take? Nothing. I'm fine. Let's get straight to why I'm here. Okay. Tap on. I want you to tell me the truth. Okay. Is she going to see someone else? <laughs> no way. No. Is he in some sort of fraternity or to convenience? Fraternity? No. We've been friends all our lives, and I haven't seen him show any trace of it. Auto convenient. Shegun is a focused man. Whatever he sets his sights on, he doesn't look back. This is not about being focused, Dapo. And you know it. It's obsession. Obsession. And it makes me wonder why. How can you set your sight on the second most important role in a multinational company without an experience and not even planning to get one? Maybe he's trying to break a record. I mean, whatever it is, I believe Shegun. He's a man of his words. Anyway, best of luck to him. See me, I've moved on. I'm ready to see someone else and he'll be here in the house. <laughs> Sharp, sharp. No time to waste time. Now. So why am I here? Mm. To confirm my curiosity. I wanted to double check if I was making the right or the wrong decision of dumping him. Turns out I'm right. I hope so. Wait. What can I do to get Chego's attention fully and get him to marry me? Only one thing. What is it? Help him get the job. <laughs> How? What a woman can do. Only a woman can do it. Have a nice day. Thank you. This is between us. Are you just going to sit there and act like nothing happened today? What happened? Someone died. Mm, don't do this to me, Shekin. You know I hate it when you try to act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Then come out plain. What are you talking about? Funke, that is what I'm talking about. She's like your 
tenth girlfriend in how many years? That girl loves you, and you know it. And who says I don't love her too? Hmm? Look, that one. I only ask her for one thing. Like I've been asking every other girl. Wait for me to get the general manager's job. What is your obsession with this job, bro? It's been five years already. Can you at least move on to something else? A lady can't just be there waiting for a job you probably won't get. Hmm. Hmm. That one. Read my lips. I will get that job and even more. I swear to you. <laughs> Is there something you're not telling me? Look, I know you're the best when it comes to coding, uncoding, oracle and the rest. But moving straight to general manager's position, is that even possible? You're an unbeliever. Good things come to them that believe. Lamentations 3 verse 25, but... But nothing! Show my play, girl. I'm not playing. 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 I'm not My man, my man. <laughs> You're the best. No. You're the best. You're the best. Mm -mm. I'm just an underdog. One not to be underrated. <clears throat> Here's a check. I'm keeping 20%. I'll give you 30. You must be kidding. No, I'm not. You see, friends like you are the best. And there's no way I'm letting 10% be too much to preserve it. Thank you. You're welcome. And if you excuse me, I have an interview to catch. What interview are we talking about? Well, persistency, they say, is one of the major keys to success. And if you stand long enough, opportunities may as well present itself on a platter of gold. gold. <laughs> what success are we talking about here? The company sent me a mail this morning. Um, let's say I have an interview or a meeting with the chairman. Whoa! <laughs> what are we still waiting for? Let's go! Please, 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 let's go. Definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm.
I would love to finally welcome you to Zoe's technology. Thank you. I must let you know that you were the first that came to our list after the demise of our former general managers. May he so rest in peace. Demise? Yes. He died while working on his laptop two nights ago. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. But I must let you know, filling his shoes will be really tasking. Unfortunately, my father isn't very easy to please. Your, your father? Yes. My father is the chairman. I will definitely do my best. Not just to fill his shoes, but to lead the company in the right direction. I hope so. We should go see him now. He will be the one to confirm your appointment. Okay, ma'am. After you. Okay. Call me Jenna. Jenna Anderson. I'll keep that in mind, ma'am. Jenna. This way, please. Thank you. That was a moment of silence for the dead. May the soul of the dead rest in peace. Amen. Please have your seat. Thank you very much. Jenna, you may return back to your office. Thank you, sir. My name is Zach. Anderson. Born to a single mother, Eunice Anderson, on October 22nd, 1960. Went to Kilimanjaro Primary School from 1965 to 1971. Saint Joseph College from 1972 to 1978. Proceeded to Oxford University to study computer technology under the Sunshine State Scholarship Program and returned to Nigeria in 1993 to establish the first African humanitarian technology company, Zeus Technology. Impressive, impressive. You must have spent a lot of time studying my Wikipedia account. No, sir. I am your Wikipedia account handler, sir. Oh. Yes. And that of the group of companies, Zeus Group. I've been handling it since my first year in university. Does that um, explain your obsession with us? I mean, you have constantly applied for this same position for the last four years. Why? Because I want to work with the best, sir. One was bold enough to make the strangest of decisions I stand by it. I am impressed. I'm impressed. But tell me, why do you think I should employ you? Because I know the origin of this company. How it was birthed and nurtured. I know the company name is from the first letter of your name and the first two letters of your mother's name. Everybody knows that. But not everybody knows the reason for the last letter S in Zeus. Hmm. Who are you? Hopefully, your newly appointed general manager. What did you do to my father? I, I, I didn't do anything, we just had a conversation. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Is everything okay? I'm afraid not. 
My father has never been impressed with anyone as he was with you at the interview. I think he stole his heart. So, are you trying to, to say? Yes. You got the job. Yes! Thank you so much. That was a nice try. You got me there. Well, I got you. And I'm glad I did. Congratulations, Shego. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Only my mom will have pronounced it better. <laughs> and yes, you did. Okay. You resume tomorrow. Your office is entitled to one SUV and one traveling truck. And if you like, you get a three-bedroom apartment in a 15 minutes drive from the office. Your other benefits will be sent to your new email. Shegun underscore Akonde at SeusTechnology.com Thank you, Jenna. But I would love to donate all those benefits to the family of the late general manager. If that's acceptable, of course. <laughs> of course. Uh, that is very generous. Thank you. It's the least I could do. So you pick up your letter from the front desk on your way out. Okay. Congratulations, Shaker. Thank, Thank you. I just hope somebody won't be mine. You heard? So take it. Um, you have to go prepare for tomorrow. Yeah, that will be after Thanksgiving. <laughs> Please have a nice day. Me too. Mama, this is more than just the dinner. I thought I told you that you're having Thanksgiving dinner, didn't I? Okay. Ooh, what is this? I brought you a drink. I mean, so what are we thankful for? Life. You are an idiot. What's this about? Don't play with me. Yes. Wait. You got the job. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Guy! You think it is so sorry, 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 sorry. I, 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 I hear your resilience. I mean, this is one of a kind. I want to say, if you believe in it, then you can achieve it. Let's grab some dinner, guy. See, that's not uniform. That's the bump to your head, happy. Bump to your head. <laughs> hey. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Idiot. What do you want, Tanya? Idiot. Foolish guy. Sorry. Only. <laughs> Wait, oh. don't chop your own me, don't chop my own. Guy, give me this on my plug, I swear. I swear, guy, give me this on my plug. First of all, it's Patin Flower. Okay. Bye. Afrogronics. Afrogronics? Yeah. Guy, put their number here. Don't worry, I will send them to your WhatsApp. Don't worry. Don't try me. Don't worry. Don't worry. Because this is just like smooth. Mm. Afrogronics. Mm. Mm. So tell me, how does it feel to be a part of this technology? <laughs> Come on, talk because this is an idiot. Do what I'm going to meet. Calm down. That is what we've been chasing for like five years now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see. Um, it's a dream come true. Okay. Okay, first of all, it's a dream come true. Second of all, the HR of the company. The lady, and she's the shaman's daughter. Third of all, I think she likes me. And fourth of all, I like her too. Ah! <laughs>
Now I understand the reason for the Thanksgiving. For the year. Ha! Well, see, that boy. Hmm. I have a lot of things to be thankful for. One of them is you. You know, for being there, for making sure I keep smiling to the bank every time. <laughs> but I can't thank you enough. Uh, you know what? I'm grateful. Um, I mean, you have the skills and it's... I'm glad it's time you put them to work. Guy, Zama is mad. I tell you. Come on. <laughs> time don't go home. They will lock you out of this estate gate. Me? Mm. For this gate? Guy, okay. do you still have any Afrogronics? Yes, Afrogronics. Afrogronics, um... <laughs> guy, 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 guy. Don't worry. Speaking of that, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, let me... I have something for you. I should give you one. Mm. There you go. Okay. Calm down. See ya. Go ahead. You see. Okay. You know what? So you won't say thank you? Chairman, <laughs> use technology. Thank you. I won't come, sir. Ah. You know what? Let me start going before the stupid estate gates guys would lock it. Thank you, sir. I'll take my leave now, sir. I've been watching you, watching you, watching you, waiting for you to say hi. Please talk to me. Baby, please talk to me. Yeah. Jenna. So, um, what do you think of Shell? Well, I think he's a good addition to the squad. He's brilliant, too. Intelligent. But is that all you think about him? Yeah. Uh, I think he's kind too. Oh. I think he likes you. Good for him. And I know you like him too. Dad! Oh. He, he just resumed today. I barely even know him. Aha! Aha! Now you see, he's kind, he's brilliant. Now, that's not someone you barely know. Plus, I saw the way the two of you were looking at each other. <laughs> Are you stalking me now? Stalking you? Nah. Just looking out for my baby dear. Thank you, Daddy, but I'm fine. But guess what? I could arrange a very long official weekend for you both. Wait, Dad, why am I here? Because you sounded like it was something far more important than it is. Yeah, yeah. But I may have to call time on my long career. The doctors advise that I slow down a little. But why now? I, I wouldn't have argued if it was a former GM. But Shego. Shego would take good care of the company. Mm -hmm. And that's why I want you to spend this weekend with him. You never can tell. A new generation of Zeus may just start from there. If you know what I mean. So... Who do you have in mind to take over? Well, no one in particular, but one with the interests of the company at heart. Dad, don't tell me you're already thinking of matchmaking Shego and I. No, but I'll stop at nothing to have you spend the weekend with him. Huh? Shego. See me in my office in five minutes. Daddy, why are you doing this? 
What am I doing? Just looking out for my baby girl, you know. And for the future generation. Here he comes. I'm arriving. Uh-huh. Sir. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sit down. Do you like it? What are you doing in my house? You need to tire to ask the question. I made dinner. So, I want you to go in there, take a shower, come back and eat this meal I prepared for you. And then, you eat this meal God prepared for you. Psalm 23, verses 5 and 6. Let me read you like newspaper. Girl, I'm loving your vibe, loving your energy. In a tobo mo, Ibu, my sugar mommy. She helping the bands and she do her two step. Two step. Trap king, junkie, poop, but in a two step. Two step. She driving me crazy like I'm in you, Bugatti. God, the way she call me daddy, you bad, you bad. Pull up on me, show me, you nasty, nasty. Girl, I like it. I'm gonna call, wanna give me cap. Shorty, wanna go down low. But one no more guinea, cause she really wanna go down low. One no more no more guinea, cause she really wanna go down low. Oh, 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 she really wanna go down low. No, no, no. I sure do wanna go down low. Oh, 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 she really wanna go down low. Cool down, my baby, Pico relax. This kind of yarn should carry for your backyard. Obu sauce or gee, name me, obim da job. When I ask you why you love me, she said, baby, let me drop. Long story short, you gon' need me job. Start to the looking, baby, come and eat me job. And that's how she be talking, cause she know. She feeling all the shit that she talking, cause she gon' flow. 
She wake up in the early morning And she come around my way Shawty wanna go down there She really wanna go down there Shawty wanna go down low But one no more guinea Cause she really wanna go down low What is it now? Why are you Come being on. aggressive? You need to leave now, please. You need to leave now. There's something wrong with your head. I'm here for the weekend. Which weekend? In which person's house? My boyfriend's house, of course. But... Shogbadu? Who's your boyfriend? Ah, uh, You disappeared for how many weeks now? And we appeared last night. And all of a sudden, you become my girlfriend again. You are Titani. So you didn't know all of that while you were eating everything on the table, including this? Funke. Funke, Funke, I'm going to call you. I'm not counting. Very good. Come and start going. I have a very important visitor that is coming right now. <laughs> important visitor? Yes. Then who am I? You're just Funke now. My ex. Ex-girlfriend. What am I law to your law? What am I law? So, what about everything we had last night? till this morning? What you give me with me? What, 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 what did we have? What did we have exactly? You came to my house unannounced. I tried talking, you shush me now. You're asking me what, 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 what's going on with us. Please come and be going. Please come and be going. Yeah, please, please. Shake me. Yeah. So after waiting for you for this long, this is what you want to do to me? Shake My God, we judge you. Please come and be going. Ah, I'm going. Go and wash Go and wash what time are you in Shako Shiki? So you don't want us. No, no, everything. Oh, Rosie Toss. But you're never gonna beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me. Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me. Looking for change, looking for pain. Pulling a mob, pushing a train. I'll never stop, stick to a lane. Pick up the pieces and go rearrange. Uh, I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test. Uh, Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next year? He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second, this life is a lesson. He got a new engine from him, it's a blessing, new focus, no guessing. Okay. Before an obsession, I'll end his possession, you got the retention, I'll leave my spare key. Your redemption, just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon, 11, 11, it's time for progression. Oh! You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me. Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me. So he's been looking for somebody who could save him Instead of searching inside for what they gave him A strong will, strong mind causes mayhem We could change the world, change times, rearrange them Staying on pace, running the race Life is a chase, I don't want a place I want to be first, work till it hurts Dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse oh. High ambitions in the right mind Can take you so far It's like you lived a few lifetimes Take off from a break off from a weak mind Think it stay soft, you can change lives You create thoughts, never waste time You got one shot, you got one life Better pop off, what do you like? Make a dream job, no nine five, no mean boss Just my life and free thoughts You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me People like sheep, no feet, hurt it you still haven't told me why you are doing all these sanitations. Who are you expecting? Someone's What? 
Wait. The chairman's daughter is coming to this house. Mm -hmm. How many days have you spent at work and you've asked your boss's daughter out already? Are you planning on getting sacked? Yeah, calm down. My boss actually asked her to come. He said I need to be up to date with the company's you know, profile details and hold on, no stops. And why is she coming to your house? Why not at the office? I don't know. But it was a decision. So why are you cleaning the house? If the visit is supposed to be official and not personal. Are you, are you trying to say... I know you like her. And her father has taken the advantage to match make the both of you. That's a good thing, right? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe he's trying to set you up. Hmm. Maybe he wants to see how emotionally intelligent you are. And I know you will end up showing him how emotionally stupid you are. Very good, Abba. Very good. But you, you try it. The place is looking fresh. It's, it's really nice. Forget that one. Hmm? Come on, be boy. Come on, be boy. Abi? I should leave your house. Uh, I'm Because <laughs> if I should leave you here for 10 minutes, I will run mad. Uh, Please come on, be boy. <laughs> Don't sadly want you. I can tell you about it. Thank you. What is it? My charger. Don't know where I kept it. Dapo, really? Are you serious right now, Dapo? It is not here. Thank you, idiot. Come with you. I'm sorry I'm late as usual. Hey, what's going on? Can you believe she even chased me out of his house? How? I thought you've already broken up. Plus, I thought you have moved on already. How come you were at his house? I saw the update of him getting his dream job and I thought he could finally concentrate on us getting married. But guess what? Chego is with someone else. None that I know of to be candid. The last thing I know of is his chairman's daughter coming to see him. And why is she coming to see him? He barely just got this job, right? Why is she coming to his house? And why does he have to chase me out of the house for her? 
I don't have answers to your questions. But I hope you can talk with him and discuss on what's going on. Hey, hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Never mind. Is there something I need to know, Funke? You need to shield. Yes? Can I come in? Sorry. Yes. Okay. Yes. You have a really nice place here. Thank you very much. Um, so, what would, you, what would you like to do? Um, water, please. I'm trying not to get poisoned. Water is never wasted. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, judging from the side of the bag, it seems we have a lot of work to do. That's mm. Apparently, my dad has other plans. I woke up to see fumigators around the house, and before I could say Jack, they're already messing with the whole building. So... So, I'm stuck with you for the weekend. Or maybe beyond. Wow. wow. I can leave every evening if you're not okay with it. There are hotels around. But like I said before, it seems my dad has other plans. And what other plans do you think he has? Maybe he wants you to make breakfast while I make lunch. And what do you say to that? I say the only food I've had was from last night. So? So I'm famished. Oh, I made your love, eh? And I hope it's not poisonous. Just keep your face and boss close. And my doctor's number is on my speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> You're very funny, eh? Let me take you away. Is your mind on the money? Money on your mind. Anything you want, girl, I don't really mind. With, with your sexy, sweet body, you looking like a candy. Anywhere you want, girl, I think you get you ready. The way you put it on me, girl, it feels like honey. I'ma get into your brain, then you can call me daddy. My pussy with me, girl. I swear she's the best. You think she the wine, she got me so impressed. Ain't nobody do me like you. You got me in the mood, I know fit me. I've been watching you, watching you, watching you, waiting for you to say hi. Please talk to me, baby. Please talk to me. Yeah, I, I know you need me too. Cause everything you do makes me wanna move, baby. Could you please? You should stop staring at me like that. Why? Because this was the type of state I got to see in the first place. How? My dad. He saw you. You mean us? Because we stay just about the same way. You can't be serious. Of course I am. 
I love to wear this jello fries taste. Who made it? Well, I live alone, no girlfriend, and I didn't order it. <laughs> I didn't ask for all of those. I only said who prepared it. Well, you already have the answer. And should in case you want to ask if I live alone or have a girlfriend. Are you always this funny or is it because it's our first time? That's probably for you to find out. Thank you so much for the food. I really enjoyed it. Are you okay? Yeah, still can't believe you made it though. I have to make sure because I don't have a first aid box in this house. Mm. Okay, um, just help me with that. Okay, you? no problem. Thank you. Okay. I am sure your father didn't tell you I know everything about the company already. Of course he didn't. Or why else would I be here? Because he has other plans. Well, how did you know everything about the company? Yeah, I know you've been applying for a period of time after I joined the company, but... I've been in charge of the company's uh, Wikipedia account for years now. Oh including that of your dad and everyone that has worked or is working with the company. Including me? Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Dad obviously wants to match me because... The question is why? Well, he feels we like each other because of the way we start each other. And besides, he wants to retire. Retire? Why? Mm -hmm. He looks healthy and fresh. Well, the doctor says otherwise. So who is taking over? My uncle. Although currently in the US. But I believe he has told him of his decisions. Dr. Smith. The first general manager of Zeus Technology. Hmm? I told you I know everything about the company now. That explains the matchmake. Dad obviously wants us to get married. Because he feels he can trust his company in your hands in the future. So what do you feel? I feel like falling in love for the last time. So fine, let me take you away. Is your mind on the money? Money on your mind. Anything you want, girl, I don't really mind. With, with your sexy sweet body, you looking like a candy. Anywhere you want, girl, I think you get you ready. The way you put it on me, girl, it feels like honey. I'm again into your brain, then you can call me daddy. My poster with me, girl. I swear she's the best. The way she the wine, she got me so impressed. And nobody do me like you. You got me in the mood, I know fit me. You. I've been watching you, watching you, watching you, waiting for you to say hi. Please talk to me. Baby, please talk to me. Yeah, I, I know you need me too. Cause everything you do makes me wanna move. Baby, could you please talk to me? Talk to me. Tell me you need Hour. Yeah, close by a cow. She beauty and ties me, and she knows and she eyes okay. me. She fell in love with two bees and Eric Kai. Yep. By the end of the summer, the winner gonna be I. <sighs> if love is magical, I'm a art like mine. Cause when you smile, I can see the stars fall. You can make fine troubles in the stars like rain on the island tree. That's a shit. Keep on. Then let me be the man of your dream. I could put you up your feet and put some smile on your face. Yeah. Change your view, huh? change your sight Whatever you want I'll do for you Whatever you need I'll get for you No matter what I'm saying We'll be keeping it with our love Gonna last for ages yeah. Let me be your body uh -huh. I have you be my shorty To cut to the altar to the And then she said I I've been watching you, watching you, watching you Waiting for you to say hi Please talk to me Baby, please talk to me
Ne? 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 Pojď zibi. Okus mi. O tak mu to okus mi. He's dead. What? How? When? We were just talking about him yesterday. Yes. I spoke to him yesterday too while you were in the bathroom. And he said he was going to be coming back next week for that to confirm his position. But now they're going to be bringing his dead body. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Come. May the soul of the dead rest in peace. You should go and see your dad now. He needs you. He's out of town. I'll probably wait till on Monday. Sorry. Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you, thank you. Wait, but wait. Did you call me babe earlier? What? But that even matter right now. Was it real or it was just platonic? It's as real as it sounds. But I think right now we should be mourning. Not not this one. Let it dead bury the dead. Meets me in the bedroom. And silently, it could build and build until you finally see. Whoa, yeah. it's taking over. Damn, no closure, moving closer. No exposure, I just want to be a loner. Oh, Smith was a good guy. I was supposed to pick him up today and then um, introduce him later part of the week. He was my favorite uncle. I learned about leadership and taking responsibilities from him. Yeah. I'm so sorry for your losses. I don't know him personally, but his profile was amazing. It's okay. But sincerely, I think something is wrong somewhere. Smith died almost the same way our former general managers died. What do you mean, sir? Our former GM died while working on his laptop. And Uncle Smith died just pressing his phone. That's very simple. I'm strange, too. Exactly. I think some anonymous high-tech assassin are behind the killings. Calm down, Dad. But you, you can see... Calm it. down. You're taking this too far. Hmm. What does high-tech assassin have to do with Swiss technology? My thoughts too. I mean... 
that has been no shady businesses. It's been all about humanity and saving lives. So why will anyone want us dead? I think both of you should be more careful. Especially you, Gina. Hmm? Although I'm trusting that um, she will be able to take good care of you. Yes, he should. And I will, and I hope you push your retirement forward so you can spend more time with us, sir. Yeah, and I hope that um, you both tied the knot earlier than I thought. Yeah. Yes, sir. I got nightmares in my head, I fear. Thoughts build up until I can't hear. That my mind fills up into a creature. And it hurts me somewhere much deeper. From the rising of the sun to the breaking of the dawn, I am singing you the song, cause you love me all along. Baby, yeah, you are my one and only. But I could baby, oh, child, you are my one. I said, Tinko, 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 go. My love for you, not the coco. He gets all that gets where you want follow. Now only I choose to follow him. I say, Tinko, 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 go. My love for you, not the coco. He gets all that gets where you want follow. Now only you, I choose to follow him. Oh. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Mm. This series has been the best days of my life. Tell them me. so Are you serious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, your honeymoon was indeed a special one. Mm -hmm. I cannot ask any further question because I can see you glowing all over. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. For what? <laughs> For always pulling out your spontaneous nature. Ah. You are literally the middleman. Oh, come on. Come on. Listen. See, love hates procrastination. Do you understand? So when you find it, don't keep it. <laughs> so it's probably taken me months to convince myself of my feelings for her. And maybe, you know, months to pass with her. Five have taken at least two years and not the two weeks of knowing you. Are you kidding me? Come on, are you both sit down? Yeah. Oh. Good. Now that both of you are married. Huh? I think it's best we begin to make the move for a position. How, how do you mean that? Great. Um, two, they say, shall be one. Shadow here now is, is part of the family. Mm -hmm. And considering how much he knows, I think it's best for him to lead the company moving forward while you assist. Sorry to cut you, sir. But I think it's best she leads and I assist. No matter what I think I know, she knows better. And she has been here long before I came on board, sir. It's all right. But I will need you to know that both of you are mine. Mm -hmm. And I could still determine what's best for the company, just like um, I do to both of you. Uh -huh. Yes, but. Um, the announcement will be made later, around in the week. 
So I guess you should be preparing now to hand over to your direct subordinates. Okay, yeah. sir. Yes. I believe you both will make the best power couple in the world. <laughs> I believe so, so too. Yeah. I like that echo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you very yeah. much, sir. <laughs> Let's pop something, right? Okay. <laughs> that champagne must come out, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> 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 mm. Mm. I think I need to study you. I mean, you're like a course of study now, right? About a month ago, you were rejected. <laughs> I mean, but really. You were rejected on a job you have been applying for over the space of five years. And in a month's time, you'll be announced as the chairman. Guy. My guy. Good things happen to them that wait. Wait. So you mean we wait for five years, get a no from our favorite job position, mm -hmm. and boom, we get appointed. Yes. Uh, that's, that's not all. That's not all. We fall in love with the chairman's daughter. <laughs> Get married and become the chairman. That is the office. Ah, guy, you for tell me now. <laughs> you know what? You're lucky, man. Shego. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, man. Thanks, man. Uh, thanks for being a brother over the years. You know, bringing the deals and, and trusting me to, you know, finish them. Speaking of deals, another one tonight, one a.m. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, my nigga. So what is it about? Uh, I'll send you the details. By the way, where is she? I haven't heard her calling you sweet names from the bedroom all day long. <laughs> She's with her dad. They're saying she has family meeting, right? Eh? Sometimes. Like that. I mean, it's time for meetings. I should be on my way. Should we wait and say hello to her what she does? The deals. Oh. I need to check the figures so I can send you the details. That's right. <clears throat> Give my love to her, man. She I'm sorry. <laughs> By the way, congratulations. Hey, yeah, I'm going with this drink. You can't even come I'm going with this. I'm oh, now a big boy now. What's your problem? So how was the meeting with your dad and the rest of the family? It was good. He made a good case for you, why he thinks you should lead the company. Well, I think you deserve to lead the company. I mean, it doesn't matter how much I know you've been there. I think he believes in you more than he believes in me. The male factor was only certain, right? The company is all yours. I'm only going to be there to look after it for you. Thank you. You should get some sleep now. Sure, I will. Still have a phone call to make though. So sleep will come after that. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna sleep. <coughs> Alright, good night. Just stay up later.
What is this? Why are you crying? No, 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 no. Was that a dream? Yes, it was. I saw your daddy was trying to tell me something, but I didn't, I didn't get it. <laughs> of course. What do you mean, of course? Check your phone. Check your phone. <laughs> Check your phone. <laughs> How did this happen? I don't know. I don't know. I spoke to him. I spoke to him and he sounded like he was going to be around for at least the next 30 years. So I got to go 3 a.m. this morning. He slept and died on his computer. Someone is doing this. I mean, why is everyone connected to the company dying? The GM died. The GM died when my dad said he was going to make him the acting managing director. Uncle Smith also died. After your dad said you'll be returning to become the chairman. And now, now, my dad is dead. Just after he said he was going to make you the chairman. Someone is after my life. It's our lives now, baby. Someone is after our lives. We need to find who that is. It's okay, don't cry. I'm sorry. He should have at least confirmed you first. Exactly my thoughts, sir. Jenna is interested in the position. I smell a toss up between us. Stop that, Shelly. She's your wife. Whatever belongs to her belongs to you too. Well, the last time I checked, the company belongs to her dad, not mine. And her dad was your father-in-law. Considering the fact that she's the only child, Everything belongs to you. You don't get it, do you? No, I don't. Forget about it. So, how did you do well? Here's your check. It was successful. Not easy, though. 
You're the best friend anyone could ever ask for. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll send you 50 later. That's too much, man. I'll stick to my 30. Tapo, you did the main job. You deserve even more. It was your data log and your access. I wouldn't have been able to pull this off without you. I insist on the 50. Because you have one last thing to do for me. Anything for a brother. Is everything okay? Yeah. It was a bonus I wasn't expecting. <laughs> Good for you. So did you watch the game this weekend? Oh, yeah. Well done. That was a good job. So you're the anonymous after all. <laughs> I knew you were up to something the moment everyone was dying. I also knew you exchanged my phone. But I was smarter than you. I changed this. <laughs> now the company is mine. I have waited half of my life to take over. It has finally come. <laughs> Dr. Wanderson has always been selfish, always wanting his own will done. <laughs> Dr. Wanderson has always been selfish, always wants only his will done. May the soul of everyone 
Rest in peace. Come to them that wait. Lamentation chapter 3 verse 25. I thought we were friends that. I thought we were supposed to be the anonymous. I thought you had my back like I had yours. I thought you were my brother. I thought it was all good with you. I thought you were his best friend forever. I thought we could actually get what we deserve and not live in the shadows of a man who took everything from us. That Paul, I thought we were the S and Zeus. Well, may the soul of everyone rest in peace. I tied up Mr. Anderson. I finished the job, didn't I? The question should be, why are you not dead? You were shot multiple times. You shot them too, with the same gun and the same bullets. So, why are you still alive? You played on my intelligence. Why? I paid you to take out these two fools because I thought you have some balls. But no, it's a lie. What you have there is just two testicles dangling in between your legs. You must take me for a bigger fool if you think I will betray my best friend for a man as selfish and self-centered as you. How dare you? How dare you call me selfish?
do you know the price that I have to pay? I pay the price, tell you. Like killing Jenna's mother and her older brother because they know too much. Quiet! Quiet, Dako! What do you know about sacrifices? Enough to know that the life of my friends is not what your ambition of being the sole owner of Zeus technology. You killed everyone. Everyone that knows your story. You killed Dr. Smith. You killed the general manager. You even killed yourself. <laughs> <laughs> How selfish can a man be? A man once told me, my ambition is not what any man's blood. Where is the man now? In his village, happy without troubles. <laughs> Unfortunately, for all the dead, may their soul rest in peace. Unfortunately for you, you are cheating. Eh? Okay, you are next. <laughs> Why are you so obsessed with working with Zeus technology? And why the general manager's position? The truth. You started with your gimmicks again. You're always trying to outsmart me, Dapo. Always. No. Why can't you at least tell me something I don't know? Fine. Dr. Anderson killed her parents. What? How? Remember the Lagos conference? The giant tech discussion, the brilliant discovery about a new technology. Of course. Our parents were the first to reach that breakthrough. We've been living on the grounds all our lives. Remember the plane crash? Yes. Both our parents died there. What's all this mystery, Shego? It's all connected, that one. Dr. Anderson was both of our parents' mates in college. He completely planned the takeover of the idea by killing everyone connected to it. He wanted it all to himself. And he succeeded. My dad had already written it, given it to my mom, who eventually passed it to me. I thought your mom died in the crash too. No, that one. She was the only survivor. She kept a low profile from Dr. Anderson and his killing spree. Dr. Anderson took what is rightfully ours, Dr. Zeus technology is a stolen mandate. And I would do whatever in my power to recover it legally. This can't be true. Why did you keep it away from me? The less you knew, the safer for all of us. It's okay, it's okay. What about Jenna? 
how are you going to accomplish your mission now that she's in the picture? Dr. Anderson is not my father. He killed my parents and adopted me to cover up his tracks. He's a smart man. It has taken him half his life to plan the heist. So if we must take him down, we must do it together. There's something I must tell you, Shagun. What is it? Hi, Funke. There's something important I really have to tell you. Okay. So you see, it's all connected. Good things happen to them that wait. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 25. Funke? <laughs> Someone is here to see you, sir. Although she doesn't have an appointment, but she looks very serious. Ask her to come in. Okay, sir. I like it when there is a deal on the table. But first, tell me who you are. And no lies. I won't have to. Because I know you would eventually find out. My name is Funke. And I'm dating a boy who knows everything about your company. It might be your downfall. Oh, cut that nonsense off! Cut it off! How much do you want? Tell me! I will write the check for you right here and right now. I don't have time for frivolous matters. Oh, some four boys tweeting in one small room. Come on, talk to me. How much? How much you have is not equivalent to how much he knows. His name is Shegun Babson Jr. And he knows the S in Zeus. Um, what, what does he want? The general manager's position is Zeus Technology. He can have it. Good. And don't tell him I was here. It's a little secret between us. Oh, thank you, promise. So, you did all of this? Just to bring me down? No. All of this is to take back everything you took from us. From me. And from those that are not here. You are a bastard. <laughs> I know my father. 
and it's not you. I can see that um, you have all come to your senses. Of course. No matter how short you are, if you come out, you will see the sky. Zach Addison. There's an old adage that says, both the dead and the lost, one day they will meet again. Power is not taken, Zach. It is given. And only one can give it. God. He gives it to whoever. And most times, he gives it to a man who least deserves it. You lost, Zach. Zeus technology is not yours. It belongs to us. To every one of us. The young, the old, the strong, the weak, and the anonymous. <laughs> so you can go home now. But before you do, you will have to return everything you took from us. Capish. <laughs> It's it's just like she went around and tried. Like, why are you laughing? I'm, I'm explaining. But, but, but Jenna actually has a different point of view. I know she's a queen. She's a queen on her own. Well, you know what? I think I think it's just good if we propose a toast. You know, it's it's um it's been a roller coaster. You know, we ride that. We see that. We can ride that. We can. <laughs> Watch it! I told you! I told you! I told you! <laughs> Ladies first! To the beautiful, gorgeous, yeah, okay. Thank you. The beautiful, Jenna. <laughs> so, um, let's. Let me repeat you. Come on, bring this thing, in fact. Oh, God. I don't even know why you actually married this kind of person. Oh, <laughs> the qualities are all clear. So we toast to goodness, yeah. long life, and love. That's it. Exactly. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. <coughs> <coughs> If I may have your attention, please. I have a confession. A confession? Yeah. <laughs> Funke and I. I beg you. I already know. <laughs> Actually, we knew. We saw the way both of them were staring at each other. <laughs> Some way you, we are staring at Shego, right? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's raise a glass to my mother, the real annoying. Cheers, ma'am. Oh, what a woman can do, only a woman can definitely do better. <laughs> 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 Yes, you're 